गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज सचिन पिस्के फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट बॉटलिंग प्लांट सिस्टम बाई पी एल सी सो लेट एस सी द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द बॉटलिंग प्लांट इज टू डिजाइन एंड डेवलप एंड मॉनिटर द ऑटोमेटिक बॉटल प्लांट फिलिंग सिस्टम बाई यूजिंग पी एल सी एंड दिस वर्क प्रोवाइड विद अलॉट ऑफ बेनिफिट लाइक लो पॉवर कंजम्पन low operational cost less maintenance accuracy and many more it is based on the industrial automation and is a vast application used in many industries like milk industries chemical food mineral water and many industrial manufacturers a prototype has been developed to illustrate this filling is the task that is carried out by the machine and this process is widely used in many industries in the the filling of the bottle is controlled by using a controller known as plc which is also the heart of the entire system for the conveyor system a dc motor has been selected for better performance and ease of operation a sensor has been used to detect the position of the bottle in this we have to use a less number of the system hence the overall cost has been reduced to an excess extent lateral logic has been used for the programming of the plc which is the most widely used and accepted language for the programming of the plc the plc used in this system is siemens s7 1200 which makes the system more flexible and easy to operate there is a hardware description used in this in siemens plc schematic s7 1200 Used for controlling the input and output. Input supplies to the PLC goes to a SMPS, that is switch mode power supply, and the rating of the SMPS is 24 volt DC 5 amperes. The PLC used here is a compact PLC which has a fixed number of the input and output. In this kind of PLC model, the CPU contains four pin digital input and ten digital output ports. The diffuse photoelectric sensor has been used. for positioning of the motor a gear dc motor has been used for running the conveyor system the rating of the dc motor is 12 volt and 50 rpm speed with a high reciting torque of 70 kg cm at no load a toggle switch are used to solve the purpose of some input of the plc brief survey of the technology explored during the past decade and some of them is given to provide and understand of the level of research in place in this domain outline the various phase of the operation involved in the adoption of the manually operated boiler toward a totally automated boiler the first part of the paper focus on passing the input to the boiler at required temperature so as to constantly maintain the particular temperature in the boiler the air preheater and economizer helps in this method and the paper mainly focus on the level pressure and flow control of the various stages of the boiler thus the temperature in the boiler is constantly monitored and brought to a constant temperature as required by the fog in this paper presents a scada system for a plant whose product demand is varying according to the temperature now execution of the user program the cpu supports the following types of the code block that allows to create the efficient structure for the program first one is the correct or organization block the organization block defines the structure of the program some organization blocks have predefined behavior of the start event but we can also create the organization block with custom start event secondly the functional block that is function block contains a program code that corresponds to specific task or combination of the parameter each fc or mb provides a set of input and output parameter for sharing the data with the following block the fb also use an associated data blocks to maintain the state of the value between executor that can be used by the other blocks in the 
program i am valid as the and at this number of them is from 1 to 2655565 last one is the data block data block stores the data that can be used by the program block and what valid data block number ranges from 1 to 165 now the programming concept uh, concept in that first one is structuring of the user program when we create the user program for automation task we insert the instruction for the program into the code block the first one is the organization block and respond a specific event in the cpu and can interrupt the execution of the user program the default for cycling execution of the user program provides the base structure for a user program and is only the code block required for the user program if we include the ob in the our program this ob is interrupt the execution of ob1 and the other ob perform the specific functions such as for the start of start handling interrupt and error and for the execution period of the program then the function block is a subroutine that is executed when called from another code block that is obxb or xc the calling pro process parameter to the fb and also identify the specific data block that stores the data for the specific call or instance of the fb changing the instance db allows the generic fb to control the operation of a set of the device for example one fb can control the several pump or valve with different instance db containing the specific operation parameter of each pump or valve a functional is a subroutine that is executed when called from another code block the fc does not have any associated instant db the calling block passes parameter to the fc the output value from the fc must be written in a memory address or to a global db step 7 provides the following standard programming language for s7 1200 then ladder logic diagram is a graphical programming language the representation is based on the circuit diagram then functional block diagram is the programming language that is based on the graphical logic symbols used in the boolean algebra and structural control language is a text based high level programming language to create a logic or complex operation you can insert the branches to create the logic for parallel circuit the parallel branches are operated downward or self connected directly to the power rails you terminate the branches upward then ladder logic provides the box instructions for a variety of the functions such as mat timer counter and step 7 does not limit the number of the instruction in a ladder network in functional block diagram like led and fbd is also a graphical programming language the representation of the logic is based on the graphical logic symbol used in boolean algebra structural control logic is high level pascal based programming language generally used to eliminate We can design any type of block. OBXP or XP. We use the SCL program in like way. At the time we create the block, step seven provides an SCL program editor that includes the following elements: the interface section for defining the parameter of the code block, the code section for program code, and instruction tree that contains the SCL instructions supported by the UI. To enter the SCL code for our instruction directly in the code section of all of the instructions. Here, we are moving to the feasibility of this study. Understanding the feasibility means that uh, the analysis of the problem 
to determine if we can solve effectively. In other words, it is the study of the possibility of the most two people. It studies the work ability impact, then economical feasibility, technical feasibility, and behavioral feasibility. In this process, first we have to start the push button, then the motor is started and the conveyor moves forward. Step 3 is the sensor detects the presence of the motor which is in the position with the solenoid board. Then the conveyor will stop. Next step, if the sensor does not detect any presence of the motor, the conveyor keeps on moving. Next is the after some delay, the motor turns on. And the bottom will get filled till the timer gets off. Next step is the after the bottom is filled, a delay is provided, and then after the delay, the motor starts moving. And last step is the process of extraction itself repeats itself of step three. The entire length of the equipment is two meters. It has an input voltage of the 250 volt if it is an input current of 15 ampere. It has a square cell and it is designed to withstand temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. It has both NO and NC contact and is CLFLS 2 meter main cable. Its working mechanism is very simple. When the tank is filled up with the water, they, the closed switch normal open, that is NO. The circuit and when the tank is empty, the source is not only closes the circuit and in a day the hardware connectivity is free. In this, it is a deep into the tank filled with the water, so it flows over the water and on decrease in the water, the level in the water level, the source which falls down from the towards the ground due to low level of the water. Which is then flow with the circuit connection with the water flow sensor. As a result, the pump that is interfaced with the entire system gate completely in a layer, and the water from the reservoir is pumped back to the water tank and it is filled with the water and gradually the water level starts rising and so it gradually starts to flow for water after the water is filled up to a certain level and also. We start talking about the water. Then the circuit breaks and the form gets in a day. Some photoelectric sensors are also used. The operating voltage is 6 to 32 volt DC and its output current is 300 milliampere. Its response frequency is 0.5 kilohertz. Its output type is NPN, free wire, that is black, blue, and cloud. It is made up of glass or plastic. It is used to change the position of the bottle. A round shaped sensor is used which can detect the opaque transference or any kind of the object. In this case, it is detecting the different plastic bottles. The sensor used here is visual reflective type sensor. The range of scaling of the object is 100 mm. PLC data type editor. Let us define the data structure that we can use the multiple times in our program. We get a PLC data type of opening the PLC data type branch of the project tree and double clicking the add new data type item on the newly created PLC data type item. We use two single click to rename the default name and double click to open the PLC data type editor. We create a custom PLC data type structure using the same editing method that can be used in the data block editor. We then add a new row for any type that necessary to create the data structure that we want. 